This module is on differential equations and how to solve them, particularly with the focus on data science applications where we want to try to fit parameters within the differential equations to match the response of the data. So data, uh, we might use data to fit these or we can use fundamentals. So for example, a mass balance is going to be uh, dmdt, the mass accumulation is going to be mass flow rate in minus mass flow rate out. So we don't need uh, data to fit these parameters, but we might have things like mass in or mass out flow rate, and we want to try to predict the accumulation. So we want to solve these differential equations. A popular way to do that in Python is with ODE int, and we're going to use that with the call to it with model an initial condition, and then the time points where we want to see the solution. So let's start with this first one. It's just a differential equation with uh, dy dt equals minus y, and then k is a constant. So I'm going to define a function that just returns a derivative. I set my initial condition, my time points between 0 and 20, and then I use odint with that model that I created right up here my initial condition, and then my time points right here. Okay, so let's solve that, and then we're going to see the response. It starts at 5, and then is going to go eventually down to 0, um, and we're going to see it decay if we went further out. So, for example, if I went to 1,000, then you would see it go eventually to 0. All right, um, let's go down. You can also solve this with Gecko. So I'm going to create a Gecko model, and same thing. I'm going to put in the time. I have a variable, my constant k, and then an equation. The difference here is that you have uh, dy dt is y dot dt open and close parenthesis. And then I can put variables on either the right or the left-hand side of the equation. Whereas odint requires that everything is on the right-hand side of the equation. So you just have to rearrange everything so your derivative is returned from this function, and that's the right-hand side of it. All right, uh, same solution here from Gecko. So let's do a differential equation activity. We want to solve this differential equation, but we want to do it with different k values. So let's say we had some data for y, and we wanted to try to determine which k value is going to fit the best. So let's just define our new model, and we're going to have y and t, and then we want to return um, on the left-hand side, or move everything over to the right-hand side, and that's going to be 1 divided by k times y, all right, and then we're going to set our initial condition. I'm going to set that equal to 5, and also our time, which is uh, lin space between 0 and 20. We can set 50 points by default, or you can put in something like 100 if you want to see a few more. All right, and we can solve this with ODE int, just like we did before. And I'll put in our model, our, um, this one's going to be y not, and then t. All right, and then if I print y, it's just going to show me, okay, it looks like an error. Let's just see what the error is. Okay, k is not defined. So let's just define k equals 1, and then I'll see my solution. And then I could change that to k equals 2 and see my solution as well. But let's do all of these um, with one model. So I'm going to put another parameter in here, k. And then I'm going to have here um, args, uh, the arguments, equals k. I'm going to put that in there as a tuple. And uh, then I'm going to say that uh, k equals 5, for example. There's my solution. But let's just do this multiple times, not just one. So I'm going to set up a for loop uh, for i comma k in, and then I'll enumerate, um, let's see, ki. And ki is going to be the list of 
these right here. I'm just going to define it as ki, and then enumerate gives me the i value, so it's going to start with 0, 1, 2, 3, and then k is going to be 1, 2, 5, 10, 20. All right, so there's my enumerate, and every time through there, I want to solve it, and then I also want to plot it. All right, so I'll have T and Y, and then I'll give it a label just so I can see the uh, which one is which. And I'll convert it to a string, which is my K value. And then let's put here something like an X label. It's time. And um, a Y label. Well, I'll just do a legend now. Okay, and I don't need to print Y, but I do want to do show, and there are my values. Okay, so you can see K equals 20, that's the slowest response, and then K equals 10, 5, 2, and 1. Now, if we had data points in here, like let's say right down here, you had data point here, 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 and here from experiment, we could adjust this K value to try to fit uh, that response. Okay, so we've made this an adjustable parameter by adding a third argument. Put args equals, and then you can put additional ones if you had different constants there, for example. Okay, but if you just have one, it's a little bit confusing. You have to put this comma here and enclose it in these parentheses to make it into something called a tuple. It's like a multiple of values. It's like a list, but you can't change the list. Okay, it's immutable. All right, let's go on to symbolic solutions. Um, Python also has SymPy, which can solve differential equations. So we're going to solve uh, the same one. C1 is just going to be equal to 5. It's going to give us the same solution as before, this exponential decay. And so I could also plug in different k values here and get the different responses. OK, so let's um, solve a differential equation with an input u. So now we're going to change um, the response, and we're going to try to calculate this, but now we'll have uh, this additional u value that's an input to the model that might be changing. That u value might come from a data source, or it might come from an optimizer, uh, where we're trying to drive y to a particular value, and we want to be able to adjust the u value, which is our manipulated variable, or the one that uh, we can adjust manually or with the computer control. Okay, so let's set this one up. Um, it's just going to be similar to the last one. I'm just going to define my model. In this case, I just need y and t. And I can also adjust the parameter inside here. u equals 0 if t is less than or equal to 2, else it's going to be equal to 2. So I'm going to write my if statement with just one line return, and then in this case, minus y plus u, and then divide by 2. All right, um, let's get my initial condition. That's going to be equal to 1. And time is going to be equal to lin space between 0 and 15. And then I'm going to compute with odint, the od integrator, model y naught and t. All right, and then I can plot this same as I did before. And I can add the labels to it. But let me just show you that plot. All right, so it goes down, and then u equals uh, is going to track down to 0 if we did nothing. And then u changes value, and then you can see it come back up. All right, let's go on down to the TC Lab activity now. Um, here we're going to turn on the heater and record T1 every five seconds for three minutes. So if your TC lab is plugged in, you can go ahead and just start this. All right, and you're going to get a total of 37 data points for each temperature sensor. And we want to solve this differential equation. We're going to use the A, B, and C values that we got before or you can use uh, these default values right here. So I'm just going to use those default values. Um, and 
then we're going to compare the response to the data. Okay, A, B, C, I'm just going to put in these here, minus 50.3, minus 0 0.003677. Okay, so there's A, B, and C, and uh, this is scrolling down every five seconds. Okay, so uh, I'll define my model, and this is Y comma T, and we will return uh, C times Y minus A. Okay, just everything on the right hand side. And then Y naught is going to be A plus B. Okay, that's the initial condition for T right here. All right, the next thing that we need to do is just our time. And that's lin space. And we'll go 0 to 180. And then let's go ahead and do our OD integrator with model y naught and t. And now let's plot it. Um, plot t comma y, and then this is going to be our prediction. And then let's put the data on there as well. Okay, this is going to be in a data frame, and it's going to be time and data, and then we'll have T1. All right, and finally, um, let's go ahead and put this as a red, okay, a red circle, and we'll add all of the other things that make our plot look good. Okay, and that'll be time, and let's do Y label, and let's make this a uh, temperature with degrees Celsius. And then we'll show this plot. Okay, so here is our the activity. We have these three parameters right here uh, that are just from this table, or we could go back to um, the one that we did before. Just while this is finishing, I'll just go back there and check out the one that we just completed. And let's just find those parameters. Okay, so here they were right here. They're just a little bit different than the ones that we had. Uh, so let's try both of them and see which ones are going to fit better in the end. Okay, I'll just go to make this into a list and overwrite the ones that are there. I'll comment that out so we aren't confused by which one it is. And then we can try one or the other. All right, looks like it's done. Just finished, uh, just as we finished our code. And let's go ahead and try it. Okay, so the differential equation is producing the same solution that we had before, um, but instead of solving, okay, so this was the analytical solution to that problem, and this was the differential equation solution to that same problem. So with the A, B, and C parameters, those are equivalent equations. One is just solved analytically, and the other one isn't. OK, and you can see that there's still excellent fit. We took a different data set, but again, an extra uh, excellent fit with the data with those three parameters and a differential equation. Let's review what we've done. In data science, we sometimes use differential equations. Uh, sometimes we have unknown parameters within those differential equations. And we use data mining and, and regression to fit the response of the differential equation to data. And we do that often by adjusting parameters within the model. A common way to solve these types of models is with the OD integrator, ODINT. And you can use that, or you can use a package like Gecko, uh, which is, allows you to have different types of equations. You can have, uh, in Gecko, you can have higher index, differential, and algebraic equations, or also uh, switch over to optimization. OK, we did a differential equation activity. We tried different k values. And then uh, going on down, we have, um, Another one where we changed one of the inputs to our model with the U value. 
And then finally we fit, um, we didn't fit it, we just used the parameters we got uh, from the prior one to uh, simulate our differential equation versus the data.